How you guys doing? This is Ray. So in today's video, we're going to discuss Wave Central and how to use it to back up your Waves plugins. Now, some of you guys might know this. Some of you guys might not. So let's get right to it. So I'm using the latest version, Waves V10. So if you want to back up your plugins, all you have to do, go to install, prepare an offline installer, choose your target platform, in my case, Windows, select the target directory. On one of my external hard drives, I already have a folder, Waves Backup. The next thing you want to do, move all, prepare installer. As soon as this process completes, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're done. Offline installer was successfully created. So let's go ahead and take a look at that folder. So if you're wondering why you should do this, let's say your computer messes up, you have an offline installer, and when you run this installer, it's only going to install the plugins you paid for. But I don't know if you guys notice, we do have an issue. Let's go back to the main page and let's click on manage licenses i'm going to select the dongle and over here we have all the products that i own so what's the problem if i click right here on the search box and i type in the number nine i have some nine plugins i don't know if you noticed when i did the backup it only backed up the 10 plugins that's not good so what can we do well the first thing you need to do is go to the waves website download an offline installer it comes with all their plugins and you have to manually select the plugins that you need to install once you're done installing that then you can install your offline installer with your v10 plugins i understand about the upgrade part that they want you to pay for the plugins that's fine but at least come up with a system that i'm able to install all my plugins regardless if they're outdated or not it's a pain in the rear so if you don't want to deal with this i tell everybody image your drive it's extremely important that you do that there has to be something we can do about this and there might be hasn't been tested but it should work let me show you what i'm talking about so if we go to that backup folder, over here we have another folder called Wave Central Offline. This is V9. If we click in that folder, I'm going to go to the Installers folder, V9, Win. Then I'm going to go to Plugins. Over here is all the plugins that come with the V9 Offline Installer. So you probably know where I'm going with this. You can remove the plugins you don't need and only keep the ones you need. I'll give you an example. Let's find some Eddie Kramer plugins. So if I press the E key on the keyboard, it's going to take me to that E folder. And over here, we have some Eddie Kramer plugins plus some other ones. You can get rid of everything and keep the ones you need. Something that you need to look for, not all Eddie Kramer plugins are here. So if we go back, type the K, and over here, we got some Kramer plugins. It's pretty time consuming. And again, it should work. So just in case you're wondering, am I able to take that V9 installer, go to another laptop, another computer, install it then after the install create an offline installer with my specific plugins and the answer is no i tried unless i missed it but i couldn't find that option so if you need to do a clean install you have to select v9 first select your plugins then after you're done with that process you can install your v10 offline installer and you should be good to go it would be nice if they can create an installer that recognizes your authorization and they'll give you the plugins that you specifically need so if this is the first time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, press the bell for future notifications. If you want to talk about what you just saw in this video, post in the bottom. Let's talk about it. Also, don't forget to check the description for useful information. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later, guys.